All right, everything should be set up now. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so I'm on my uh, second episode for, uh, I guess, my road to Division 20. I don't know if I actually want this to be a series uh, where I'm actually striving for something or if it's just going to be me hopping onto uh, ranked for matches. Haven't really decided. Um, anyway, just to recap, just finished off my uh, placement matches. Actually went 5-0. and uh, Landed in Division 8, as you can see. Uh, it's currently Flyweight and Bantamweight. Let's see what we can do. It's a Bantamweight title fight between Cody Grant and Aldo. So first match we got Cody Garbrandt against Jose Aldo. Ready. Ready to fight. Alright, here we go. Touch gloves. Outstanding matchup of cool. strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas? Yeah, honestly, uh so I think when you have like two men, it's either Jose or Cody Garbrandt is my choices. Yeah, he's just... He really likes his jab straights, man. Gotta be careful of his leg kicks, too. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Nice punch, man. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, Cody Garbrandt's, like, usually my number one pick. Simply because of his power, as you can see there. It's like Rock Jose Aldo. Alright. Bringing out the knees and elbows. I see. He really likes opening with this jab, so I'm gonna like look to uh, slip. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Effective punch there by Cody Garbrandt. Slip straight. He's really gotta be careful. I'm gonna sit him down. Cody may be a glass cannon, but he can hit, man. He will rock you. He's starting to throw hooks now because he's getting the sense that I'm slipping his straights. Telling you, man. Like, I know you're using Jose, but Cody's got like serious power in this division, man. Like, I will slip straight you all day. Trying to throw a haymaker, I was too far away. One minute to go here in the opening round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their God, look at his head health. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, look like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions. Yep. Just slipped straight all night now. at this point, you know. Uh, oh, I mean, I heard that Rob Font set to uh, fight Jose Aldo. I heard they're looking to get that fight together. That should be cool. We, like, both traded, like, double uppercuts there. Five minutes down, DC. Let us get to you know, Cody, like, Cody doesn't have the best chin, but do not underestimate his power. I feel like people get the false sense that they can, like, just hang in the pocket with him because of his chin, but... 
as you can see, this, like this power is no joke, man. It's over. Or maybe not. I don't know. <clears throat> nope. Not gonna get me with that. Alright, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, effective strike there by Cody Garner. God, his head health is so low. Yeah, that's a kick. <laughs> I want to see if I can drop him with that. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just get him out. There we go. I mean, Slipstraight was there pretty much all through that fight. You know, he entered the pocket with his jab so often. And, you know, I enter with my jabs, too, but, you know, he was just being a little too predictable. More often than not, he would throw his jab straight. I mean, he got a little wise to it near the end. Um, when he started throwing his jab hook, because he figured I was going to start slipping. But his head health was just way too low at that point. First one of the day. Uh, let's look at some fight stats real quick. Ah, huh, interesting. We threw the same amount of total strikes. Knocked him down six times. Okay. On to the next one. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. So we find ourselves in the flyweight division this time, going up against Mighty Mouse Johnson, and using, uh, what was his name, Alejandro Pantoja? Pantoja? It's going to be kind of hard to uh, keep up with the footwork of Mighty Mouse, so I'm really going to have to play footsies with them. Try to work his body a little. He did a great job of turning his defense into his nope. offense, but you can see that he's done that uh, time and time again. Yeah, since we're here, let's try to grapple with him. And it worked in this instance. Did he just quit? Wow. Wow. Did he really just quit? Dang. You hate to see that, man. All right, coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight division fight. Okay, so back in the uh, Bantamweight division, got my pick Cody No Love. Uh, did you really just fake don't touch me? Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has Timing his shots nicely, good chance. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. That was a jab. What? My leg kick going land? Well, you know, Cody Garbrandt's uncle Robert Meese there in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew's stand up here tonight. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got to be fucking very bad. And that'll do it! Yeah. Don't ever fucking 
fake glove touch me, man. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front. Sorry, I, I keep telling myself I'm not going to swear whenever I do these things, but... Uh, I got one guy that just, like, quits randomly. You know, and then this guy, you know, like, fake gloves touch me. It's like... I don't know, man. I don't get people sometimes. Got the win, so. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 1 minute 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care. Here are the fight stats. On to the next one. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. Back in the flyweight division. I've really been going through these fights pretty fast today, man. Yeah, I've already had three fights and I haven't even been playing for like 20 minutes yet, you know? I don't actually know like how many uh, fights I want to do per episode. I guess it really just depends how long the fights are, you know? But I think I think probably three to five is a good number. Go high, go low. Yeah, I respect him. He's actually like the first guy that's like tried to grapple so far today. Ooh, okay, nice. I'm throwing these uppercuts just to kind of discourage him from shooting for a takedown. Ooh, okay, a little too close. A little too close for that head kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got that tie. We'll see what he can do with it. Yeah, I really gotta be careful trying to throw these kicks. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, okay. It's pretty slick, actually. And he landed the right hand there. Just missed with the left there. Look at him chopping. Ooh, okay. I might actually have to like focus up a bit for this guy. Big punch land. Ooh, okay. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nope. Not this time, buddy. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nope. Master of the transition. Nice grab. Right punches there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big kicks. He's a tricky style, not gonna lie. Keeping me guessing, I'll give him that. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter round. Can I get him? Yep. That's ground and pound for you, man. Respect, sure though. The judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. 
He was by far the trickiest guy I've come across today. Uh, he leaned right into the head kick though, man. That was his big mistake. So there he is after the big TKO victory here tonight. He had some doubters coming in. He certainly muted those naysayers here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alex Perez! Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after All he right. the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was... I really did not expect these fights to be going as fast as they have been. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. So I've actually faced off against this guy many times before. Ready? Ready? All right. Touch gloves? No. All right. Really likes his leg kicks. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this match? Ooh, all right. I really got to be careful throwing kicks so close in the pocket. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What a turn of events. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying oh, in one All place right. on I, the I ground. I thought I could be a little important. slick. Oh, and he gives up his back. This is not a fighter you want anywhere near your backside. This could be it. I mean, this guy is so educated in chokes. He's so educated in terms of controlling positions. You're not going to roll around and scramble to get this guy off of you. He follows you with every bit of himself, and he's going to try and Ooh, find that man. Careful. This is just not going good for me right now. Wow, okay. Maybe? No, he saw it coming. Oh my god, I'm getting dismantled here. Alright, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Alright, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk yeah, about I just need to survive, oh, man. man. I like half guard I'm as a just top fighter. getting my ass kicked right half now. Guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are one there, spinning you elbow, man, the position of the underhook it opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Maybe. Okay. Oh, nicely done there as Ooh. he escapes back to his feet. 36 total strikes have landed for Piotr Jan. Big I need to get some land. respect, now man. Back to range. I need to get his respect. Ooh, big knee. Shot lands. I just feel another spinning elbow coming, man. Alright, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. All right, Those good. hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over wow. the top. I wouldn't follow this one. Ooh. Man, at least, at least I survived the round. God dang. Ooh. Well, good pace to this one. Round two is here already. The king of Rio, Jose That was crazy, though. Oh, big elbow. Look 
at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. Whoa, what? Unofficially have landed for Piotr Young. I don't know how my head kick missed, dude. Forty-eight percent tonight against Jose Alba. Posturing up now, and now the damage is about to start. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to roll out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating right. people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. I don't yeah, know if this is like the worst beating I've ever taken, but it's up there. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, <laughs> right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. What? The jab has been working so well. If he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it Ooh, up. I'm Shake just that really that trying thing. to focus up, man. Nice kick. Now connects with a right. Well, his I'm just hoping for like at least one, one solid rock. You know. Round, he has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Try to establish that jab. Aldo's head kick is blocked. No damage there. All right, so we're in the clinch. Not anymore. Beautiful trip to get this fight to the ground. Right, there no we effort, go. No effort. When you do it right, it takes no effort. This young man just did it right. Oh, that's a nice strike. 45 seconds remain in the round. Back and forth we go. Nice one, two there. Trying to establish that jab once again. I am just trying to focus up now. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Alvin. Let me get at least one good rock. Yep. Oh, big left hook there. Ooh. I was really hoping I could get him out. So fight, right good now. fight. Really, really bad. The blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you got to think at some point if it gets any worse, Ooh, they will man. have no choice but to stop this fight. Listen, we lost that last round. Well, I, I definitely need to finish at this point, man. <sighs> so here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. I gotta pull out all the stops, man. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ah, oh, shit. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Did you just mirror just like sometime? Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Ooh, thank God I have my block up. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all income strikes. Look at him. Look at Ooh, him. All right. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. At least I got a leg rock, man. That's something. I'm keeping guessing. Ninety-six total strikes have landed for Piotr Jan. And strike at a percent clip tonight thus far against Jose Al. Perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those. No. Just a 
gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Oh, well, let's it get sucks to have a winning streak in like that, man. Replay, guys, to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in his championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. That sucks, man. Uh, oh. And it sent me back. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was a tough pill to swallow. Mm. Hate to end on a loss, man, but yeah, that's five fights. I'm just going to end it there before I lose any more, you know? Ah, that sucks. I mean, nine and one to start off ten fights, but still. <sighs> anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.